Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the Bernoulli's equation considering friction or we can say losses. So here I have shown a conical pipe, it can even be a straight or a constant diameter pipe as well. There are two sections of this pipe, section 1 and section 2. There is a fixed datum or reference. From there we are measuring the height up to section 1 that is Z1 called as the potential head at section 1. Similarly Z2 is the potential head at section 2. The fluid, I have, I have assumed the direction as upward that is the direction of flow. It can even be in the downward direction. The fluid which is flowing is having velocity V1 at section 1 and the pressure is P1. At section 2 velocity is V2 and the pressure is P2. These are the intensities of pressure. Unit would be either in terms of Newton per meter square or kilo Newton per meter square. If it is in bar, we need to convert it either in Newton per meter square or kilo Newton per meter square. Velocity would be in terms of meter per second and z these heights would be in the form of meter now the bernoulli's equation considering losses means that when the fluid is starting to flow pro from point number 1 then the total energy which the fluid has is denoted by e1 and the total energy which is there at section 2 is denoted as e2 so losses means when the fluid is flowing from one section to other then at section 2 the energy would be less it means there is drop in energy so E2 value would be less than E1 value. Now why this value reduces the major factor for that are the losses due to friction which is there when the fluid flows over the length of this pipe. So when it flows over the length of this pipe, there will be loss of head which is called as the head loss due to friction considering it as the major loss. So here I am writing the Bernoulli's equation considering the losses. Since the energy at section 1 is greater, I am just assuming, taking an example in order to explain it to you all. Like suppose E1 is 100 units of energy, at E2 the value reduces, so E2 suppose it is 90 units, it means their difference is the head loss due to friction which comes out to be 10 units that is called as HL or the head loss and that we need to add in E2 HL would be added to E2 in order to make it equal to E1.
So this is the Bernoulli's equation considering HL which is the head loss due to friction and why friction because out of all the losses the head loss due to friction is the major loss. So like E1 minus E2 the difference what we have is called as HL the head loss due to friction and again it is not compulsory that energy at section 1 would be greater always. It can even be the case like E2 can be greater in that case E2 minus E1 would give us the head loss due to friction. So in short that was a video regarding the Bernoulli's equation considering losses. In one of my videos I am going to give the derivation of this formula as well. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends. Thanks for watching.